Hi guys and welcome back to another smart sunglass review. Today we'll be looking at the Nike Fly Evo 927 sunglasses. So let's dive in and take a look at the dimensions. They feature a 57mm eye size and a 18mm bridge. They have a semi wrap profile which will keep most of the sun glare out. The temple lengths on these sit at 150mm. The frame on the fly model is constructed out of a thick sports grade nylon which is quite lightweight for their size. They feature larger nose pieces which help to keep them resting on your face. The temples are designed to hug your head so they have little groove notches to aid in their grip. The frame colour is a matte navy and they feature silver Nike tick logos on each of the temples. The lenses on these offer 100% UV protection and are made from an acrylic optical material. They are in a solid bluish grey tint which offers an even and neutral darkening of everyday objects. As you can see, this model is non-polarised, as are most of Nike sunglasses. This is because they are geared more towards runners and golfers who need to see the glare reflecting off different surfaces to judge the elevation better. For something new, I've introduced a real life test. This is to show objects of different contrasting colours and how these lenses perceive them. In most Australian stores, Nike sunglasses do not come with an actual case. You will get a microfiber cleaning cloth slash pouch which is black in colour and it has a white Nike logo. And uh, you also will just get the usual warranty info as well. In Australia, they will retail for around 159 Australian dollars. While in the United States, they can be found for around between 70 to 80 US dollars. Should you buy them? Overall, they are fairly solid, lightweight and comfortable. However, they aren't polarised, but if you are into trail running or golfing, then that really isn't important. If you can get them at a bit of a discount or better deal than retail, then I would definitely pick a pair up to use for sports and other activities. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of my upcoming reviews.